Hey everybody, it's Kneecap here, and welcome to This Week in WoW for the week of December 20th. As always, we'll start off with the Mythic Plus affixes for the week. This week we have Tyrannical, Bursting, Grievous, and Thundering. Again, that's Tyrannical, Bursting, Grievous, and Thundering. Um, you know, this could be a little bit rough. Bursting, there's a lot of big pulls in these dungeons, so Bursting can be a little bit rough for some of those, I imagine. Um, Tyrannical, obviously, a little bit harder than Fortified. Grievous, a bit of a healing effect. This is obviously, it's not like the worst week in the world, but it's obviously harder than the first week. So, um, obviously, we'll have a little bit more gear, but this the second week could be like a week where, you know, maybe you're doing 15s all week or something, or maybe you're doing 10s all week, and, you know, this next week's not going to make it super easier to do higher keys than whatever you were doing last week. So, you know, a bit of a bit of an upgrade in difficulty for sure, as we are still starting off in the Mythic Plus season. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about what's going on in the game this week. Um, this week in the game, this is a good PvP week. Uh, if you need to get honor and stuff, we have Battleground bonus event. We also have the Brawl Gravity Laps going on. So you can partake in those if you need to get more honor, conquest, things like that. Uh, we also have the first wing of Vault of Incarnate's Raid Finder opening up. So if you take uh, you know part in that, then maybe that's your raiding experience, which is fine. Um, that'll be opening up this week, the first wing of it at least. And then, of course, we do still have the Feast of Wintervale going on. I mentioned that last week as it started last week. I am started into my achievement. I said I was going to get on that, and I am almost done with it, actually. Just a couple more things to do um, for my achievement for the Feast of Wintervale. So we'll hopefully have that done, um, you know, hopefully in the next couple days here. And then, you know, get my get my uh, Violet Proto Drake finally after all of these years. I've literally played the game you know, since before that achievement existed, and yet, here we go, I still do not have it, so, um, yeah, I am working on that. As far as the uh, Race to World First goes, you know, that's something I'm interested in. As of right now, both guilds are on the final boss, um, well, Echo would be asleep as I'm recording this, but they are on the final boss, you know, I don't know, actually, I don't have it pulled up, so uh, Limit could be doing Mythic Plus or something right now, I don't know for sure. Uh, it's kind of looking like it might have to go to a reset and get some more gear uh, to kill the boss uh, based on, you know, what a lot of people are saying. The last boss looks really, really cool on Mythic, though. Who knows if there's going to be a Mythic phase or a Mythic whatever, some Mythic special mechanic or something that's not in the journal. But uh, whether there is or not, it seems like a really cool end fight. I think the raid is tuned about exactly how I would have expected it to be coming off of uh, Sofo in uh, Sepulchre. So... Um, I, I'm pretty happy with the tuning myself. My guild didn't even step into Mythic this week. We didn't bother with that. Our raid item level, a bit low. And we'll probably, I, I imagine we'll probably at least step into Mythic next week and see what we can get done in there. Uh, but we just did like, uh, we cleared most of Heroic and then we cleared Normal this week, you know, on our limited ra raid schedule. And I definitely enjoyed the raid on those difficulties at least. So looking forward to getting in there on Mythic. As far as the Rep Paladin stuff goes, I'll mention that real quick. Uh, Rep Paladin stuff. Uh, I'm pre pretty much ready to make the guide, I think. So I imagined, you know, this was probably the second week was probably always when I was going to do the guide. And I imagine it will be this week, whether I do that like on a Wednesday or whenever. Um, the, the, I imagine that'll be coming out this week. I, I've pretty much framed everything how I think I'm going to have to frame it. I think with this expansion, specifically with the talents and all the different talent builds, and even if you go to Warcraft logs, you'll see different talent builds performing very equally. I think I'm just going to give everybody like the simulated. Um, version, right? And then I'll kind of give you a for fun version too that you could play if you want to. Um, and like, well, here's what you should do, but you can also do this, right? And maybe I'll try to frame it like that. Um, you know, it's been something that I've been battling with before making this guide is that, you know, I always want, I probably, I, I made, started making Rep Paladin videos in general because I was looking for Rep Paladin guides when I switched over to Rat. And I couldn't find any videos on YouTube, and I had to. I, I found some good written stuff, some written material, and I was able to, you know, get better that way. But uh, there was no good video guides, and maybe there are now. I'm not sure, other than mine, uh, but there were not, you know, a few years ago. And so I started making these rap paladin guides. And my number one thing is just to give good information, correct information, right? Everything I want to say is correct. So I think what I'll do is I'll stick to the simulations. I'll stick to what should be the best, right? And then I'll also talk about what's fun. I'll also talk about if there's a build that's not simulated, you know, as the best, but it's doing the best, and there's a build that, and maybe I don't think it's fun per se either, you know, I'll mention that as well, right? Well, I'll try to incorporate everything in and just kind of, 
you know, clarify everything as I go, I think is how I'm going to do that. So uh, that is kind of my plan for that, for everything, right? Trinkets, gear, rotation, talents, everything. Yeah, so it might be a little bit longer video than normal, but it'll be important to get everything right, at least for me. Um, other than that, uh, <laughs> actually on our normal kill, I got the transformation for my uh, dragon riding Drake. So I actually do have the Resagath, Resagath uh, mount, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's just transform your dragon into I think it's really cool that it drops from normal too. It's open up to all raiders then so it could be a maybe you don't normally raid It's a very very cool transformation if we're gonna be able to ever use these drakes too, like after this expansion Like having this transformation as a dragon that I could just ride around in Azeroth like in Eastern Kingdoms or whatever Would be quite cool. So it, it's a very 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 nicely done artwork there. So I'm glad that's opened up to all players and not just mythic players, honestly, even though, I, you know, I imagine I'm going to get cutting edge once again, as we normally do. Um, you know, I, th I think it's nice that all players have the opportunity to get this really cool transformation, this really cool cosmetic. So I definitely like that approach 100 um, percent. Other than that, you know, I'm just having I'm still having a lot of fun. Did, did a good amount of Mythic Plus. Uh, definitely stand by my thoughts on Mythic Plus as far as Rhett goes. I'll talk about that too in the video. As it is, I do I, tr I do try to cover Mythic Plus too as well as rating. It is like a PvE guide. But um, I'll cover um, my experience in Mythic Plus as well, which I think I, I've pretty much been right on about. I think there's two worlds. There's the world where you pull five at a time, and then there's a world where you do big pulls. And I think those play a little bit differently for Rhett uh, for obvious reasons. Well, what's obvious to me at least reasons. And I'll, I'll talk about that as well. So I'm um, having a lot of fun. Still loving Dragonflight. I think this expansion is 100% worth your money from the get-go. Um, is it going to be the best of all time? We'll see as far as when content comes out, right? We don't we don't know that until, <laughs> until the expansion progresses more. You can't say it's the best of all time after only a few weeks. But what you can say is it's worth its money and it's heading the right direction. So definitely happy with that. So. Uh, that's it for this one, guys. As always, I do ask you to please subscribe to the channel. That helps me out so much. And other than that, everybody, have a good one.